It's Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. Remember I did that rice experiment a few weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, where I just put rice into three containers. One I said, hate, 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 for a few seconds every day. <clears throat> the, other, the other container of rice I ignored, and the third container I just said, love, 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 between 10 seconds to a minute every day. I even had days where I, you know, I went away on holiday, I missed a few days. And I'll tell you what, the results are extraordinary. And I'm going to explain the significance of these results in the, uh, just after I show you the rice. So let's have a look at the rice. Let's start with the rice that I ignored. If you notice the rice I ignored, um, if you look at it underneath, I don't know how clearly you can see it. It's sort of okay. It smells a bit, but it's okay, yeah? Now let's look at the rice where I said love. A few seconds every day. Let's have a look at that one and see what the results of that. The rice is actually, it smells a little bit, but it's still actually looks okay it doesn't look too bad it's it's you know it's not perfect but it's now I'm going to show the rice that said hate check out this I can shake it and it won't even move can you see the mold I don't know if you can see the mold how clear it is but there's just so much mold on this see I'm shaking this really hard but it's just like glued together with the mold so that's basically by sending this hate um, you know over and over for a couple weeks it's we it's, it's actually helped it get moldy and degrade so this is significant in terms of how you relate to yourself if you speak loving words to yourself it definitely impacts your the set on your cellular level remember your community of 50 to 50 to 70 trillion cells if you if you hate yourself if you hate yourself it actually erodes your cells it weakens you on a molecular level on your cellular level it weakens you and makes you more vulnerable to illness and disease but if you, and the same thing is if you hate others, you make yourself more vulnerable to illness and disease, and you actually allow your system to break down. So that's why I talk about the power of forgiveness in the other videos, is that when you hate someone, your unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between you hating someone else and you hating yourself. And you know, we kind of hear about those, you know, what goes around comes around, what you sow you shall reap. It remains back to you, the way you speak to people, the way you think, what you're sending out to other people, the emotions, the feelings, if it's hate, it's going to come back to you and affect you. And if it's love, it's definitely going to come back to you and affect you. So I just, I didn't realize how powerful this was. I only did this, you know, it's been about two weeks now. Um, others have done it for a full month. But I didn't even need to get to two weeks to see the amount of mold on this. It's just gross. Like, and that's just simply from just saying hate for about a minute, softly. Didn't go overboard. And that's what happened. Let's go back to the one where I said love. And the rice is pretty much just brown rice. It's still brown rice. Obviously, it hasn't been in the fridge for a couple of weeks. But it's, um, look at it. Let's still shake it around. And, you know, it might, it's kind of even fermented. It could even be one of those exotic meals. And the ignore rice, it's sort of clumped together a bit. It's, it's not in good shape. But what have you noticed? What I've noticed here is that the love rice has preserved itself longer. It's actually in much better shape than the rice which was ignored. So by sending out... By ignoring, by sending, deliberately sending out loving thoughts to yourself and towards other people and to circumstances, it actually makes you younger. <laughs> it actually makes you healthier. It makes, actually preserves you on a cellular level, as I've demonstrated with this rice, simply by just saying the word love and having, and just, just saying the word love. I didn't even try and think loving feelings towards this love. I just said the word love. So imagine the, the hundreds of words that come out of your mouth every year. The thousands and billions of words come out of your mouth every year. What proportion are love, loving words and what proportion are hateful words? And all of this, I didn't even try sending hateful feelings. I just said the word hate over and over again. And look at the results. This is just totally, totally incredible. Totally mind-blowing. I didn't expect it to be successful. There was a part of me that kind of believed it wasn't going to work. Um, but it's amazing how it's just worked. That's Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can hear your life now. I've just shown and demonstrated that the rice experiment does work it's only been a couple of weeks or so and not a month and it and it totally totally worked and blew my mind i never expected it to be that way i never expected to get such results from this it's been fantastic so in a quick summary loving thoughts even just loving words preserve us keep us younger make us healthier build up our immune system loving words and loving thoughts towards others preserve us make us younger build up our immune systems Hateful words, even with hateful words without without feeling, just the word hate, when we think about it, when we dwell on it, we focus on it, it becomes powerful, it becomes a, a decaying force in our life, it decays our bodies, it, it, it makes illness and disease. So if you've got anyone that you hate, 
it's imperative that you forgive them and let them go and just replace those thoughts of hate with love. Really, the person you're benefiting is you. And also, the other part of this experiment, understanding the ignore. If we just live life from a neutral place where we're just ignoring everything, ignoring this, ignoring that, um, that's fine. We'll kind of just go through life as we are. But isn't it better to adopt that idea of love in your relationships, in your words, in your thoughts, towards yourself, towards others, to people in the world? That, that definitely generates a tremendous amount of healing in your life and happiness, as well as wellness in you know, mind, body, spirit. It's tremendous. So this is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can heal your life now. Trust you've got a tremendous amount of value from the Rice Experiment and that you can go and apply that knowledge in your life. Have an awesome day.